All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today I'm gonna to bring you another knife video. I told you guys that when I brought you the video on the Humdinger, the one there in the back, that I also received another knife at the same time for a review. And this really, to be honest with you guys, it's not a knife. Um, it's actually a machete. Um, it's a, this version is called the Chance in Hell. This is the 18 inch model of the uh, the blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open the box and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. <laughs> I did get a much bigger table in here, guys, into my office uh, to be able to get the review stuff going. But man, I'll tell you what, this knife, this machete, I should say, is so big that uh, honestly, we're just gonna get the box out of the way right off there. So comes with the paperwork, you know, describing their knives and uh, all the different things about their knives. Always have some funny stuff in there. I was looking at one the other day that had something about a tool and how to impress your father-in-law. So this looks like another lanyard or a lash probably to go around the base of it here for your leg or something like that. So anyways, guys, this is a gigantic knife. Now they do make this in a 16 inch also. So I'm going to go ahead and just do what I can here with the camera that I have and try to get this so I can show this thing to you guys because it is such a beast. So this is a polypropylene overmold um, thermoplastic rubber handle on here and it has this kind of football texture to it as you guys can see as I bring it up here closer. And uh, it does have through pins it looks like all the way through this handle all the way so it looks like it's going to be really secure. Go ahead and undo this and see if I can't. Wow, that is one beast of a blade, guys. So I actually occasionally will use a machete for uh, work stuff and, and actually mostly I'll actually, believe it or not, I think my neighbors think I'm nuts, but I use a machete quite a bit in the yard work. Um, really easy to just kind of take limbs apart and stuff like that when you have a good sharp machete. If you know how to use it, um, and use it effectively and if you know where the sweet spot on a blade is um, you know on a big blade like this you tend to have a sweet spot right in here where if you're swinging it you're getting the most out of the the weight of the edge and the shape of the edge if you get a little too far out here you deflect off and too far in here you you lose that power so there's always a sweet spot in a in a machete blade currently the the style of blade I've been using is a, a sax machete um, I've never actually used something like this um, really almost hard to give you guys a representation of the size of this thing but 18 inch blade here so i'll show you guys just kind of i'll grab the humdinger up here and set it next to it this this knife here that i showed the other day has a six inch blade so just to give you guys some size representation of the of the size of this machete it is a real beast so these things will set you back i went to the crkt website these are about 80 dollars Pretty expensive for a machete. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. One of my favorite brands out there is Cold Steel. And I picked up one of their um, Sax machetes um, for, man, I think it was right around $20. And guys, I've used that for years. Works really good. Now, it does not have nearly the style handle this has. Um, it does not have this unique blade design here, which almost reminds me of like a swashbuckler uh, <laughs> short sword or something like that. This also is a kin onion design. That's why the, it actually has such a beautiful, um, you know, shape to it. I mean, it's a real, real beast. I'm swinging around here, guys, trying not to cut myself because just like most uh, CRKT knives, these things are razor sharp. So maybe what I'll try to do is get a field test done with this knife, actually get it out in the field and try to chop some things with it just so that you guys can get you know, a visual on how big the knife is and, and, and what kind of work you can do with it. You know, first impressions for me, not having used it, not having to swung, uh, you know, having swung it in brush or anything like that, it feels really good. It has a great feel to it. The the, the handle in this shape feels like it's gonna be real secure in your hand. It, one thing with machetes is when you're swinging them and you're hitting brush, you, you because of the thinness of the blades, you can tend to get deflection um, and when you get that deflection, if you have a rounder, cheaper uh, handle uh, design on a knife, it'll twist in your hand and move in your hand. This feels like it'll kind of um, not have that issue just because of the shape of it. Feels squared off, feels secure. Doesn't feel too big in the hand, but but actually fits pretty good. So I'll need to do some field testing with it. And as I kind of keep doing these knife reviews, guys, hopefully I can 
figure out how to do that. So just like the um, Humdinger knife, this is a high carbon steel, 65 uh, MN uh, carbon steel, black powder coating on the blade to keep it from rusting. Again, like the, uh, the other knife there, always good to keep a thin coating of oil on a knife like this, especially once you put it back in these sheaths. Um, these uh, bigger nylon sheaths like this and stuff, especially if you use them outdoors and stuff in any kind of a wet environment, they can retain some moisture in them. And um, if, you put your, if you put your machete away un, unoiled in there, you will get rust on the edge of that blade. I mean, it's, you can clean it up, you can fix it, but it's definitely not something you want to discover when you've thrown it in your pack to take somewhere and all of a sudden you're out there with uh, no way to clean it up or sharpen it or whatever. Um, but but good blade, uh, you know, nice first impressions, a good blade. I'll definitely put it to use some uh, out in the yard and maybe get it up in the mountains with me for some work if I'm in some thicker brush. But um, well-developed tool, well-made tool, uh, lifetime warranty on these big machetes like this from um, CRKT. And I think that's a testimony really right there to the blades. Uh, all of, at least the ones I've been looking at lately, all of CRKT stuff has lifetime warranty um, you know, I'm sure there's some limitations and restrictions that go along with that. But when you're getting a knife, you know, this big that obviously is going to be a tool. I mean, there's no real other reason to have a knife like this unless you're using it as a tool and the brush. You need to use it for work or whatever else, uh, you know. And so because they give it that lifetime warranty and stuff like that, I think it's you're probably going to get your money's worth even if you're spending $80. But look around, guys. I'm sure you can find these all over the place out there. Um, at good deals. I will leave a link to the CRKT website and if I can find them anywhere else I'll try to leave you you know another one or two links so you guys can pick them up so alright guys if you like this video good and give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom and if you have not subscribed to the OFD channel please do please do alright thanks guys